Uh, this is a Steven, my son. Uh, he was murdered on the 31st of August 2011, and he was 21. He was on, he went out of my grandma's house, and he was there walking, and I, I died that day. Twelve o'clock, I had um, people <laughs> viewing my house. And at 20 past 12, I had his best friend knock on my door. It was probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, having to tell my kids that their dad's not coming home. They had dinner with him the night before. And that's it. He's gone. I feel different. Sometimes in the night, I get really sad. I always got all some kisses and having fun with Daddy and Granddad because um, Granddad, when we had the cuddle, used to tickle me. <laughs> and Daddy did the same. My wife died five years ago, the day after Mother's Day. I picked my children up from school. I came home um, and I found her in the house. So I lost my husband four years ago um, in February. He died of a brain tumour. One of the big things I felt was that I had never really prepared the girls for the fact that their dad could die. Me and my sister used to get up really early uh, to play with my dad. And we used to play lots of games with him while my mum would, like, do some jobs around the house. And we can't really do that as much now. I lost my dad at 37. I was an adult. I'm a trained practitioner in mental health. I still almost couldn't cope with his loss. What if you're three? Or you're seven? Or you're 11? How do you understand that? A little girl said to me in the workshop last week, my dad is dead. Went down to her level and went, I know your dad is dead. Which didn't shut down her conversation, it opened it up. You need professionals who are confident to go down that road uh, and not be frightened, because that kid's frightened. One of the really beautiful things that Grief Encounter does um, is, is to allow the good memories of the person you've lost to come back in. When I first got there, I made, like, um, the rainbow thing. I keep looking at it every day and it reminds me of my friend and daddy. I've got a little key ring on, uh, on my side, so I wouldn't forget. I've got my dad's aftershave, which I spray on my pillow to remember him at night time. When a child then comes to a workshop which is dedicated to them and other children like them, they walk in a room and they know that every other child in that room has also had somebody really special to them that's died. It feels mm, like um, nice being around people that have lost someone like me. It is like a family. Grief Encounter is like a family. I can't imagine what life would be like without grief encounters. It's going with somebody into their deepest, darkest moment, so they don't have to go there alone. <laughs> Sounds really corny, cool but I would always expect someone to come and save me, like my knight in shining armour. But I had to be my own. But they were. They was knight in shining armour. I wish my dad would come back.
boys I'll be right beside you, dear We not normally write a message on the blue and we let go of it and it goes up to our mums and dads and whoever we've lost. 